Now, since we're working on the door, there's multiple concepts uh, that I do want to cover. And one of them is actually how to show dashed line. I think it's relevant to talk about it now because I don't want these arcs that represent the swinging of the door to be uh, drawn like this, like as straight lines uh, or continuous lines. So I do want to make them look dashed. So to do the dashing, like to add dashed lines, all you need to do is actually uh, from the right side where it says the line type right here on the properties. Uh, so right here, um, I'm going to first load the line type and then we'll assign it to that particular line. So what you need to do is from the line type here on the property, we're going to click on manage and we will get this window. And then from this window, you will see we're only seeing like one line type that is loaded, which is the continuous, which is the one that we've been using the whole time. Uh, and to add additional line types, we're just going to click on the load button and that will give us another window. I'm just going to put it on the side. And then I'm going to stretch it so you see the full list kind of. Um, and then uh, what I want you to do is you'll see like on the top, there's these ones called ISO. So these are, from my understanding, these are made for the metric uh, if you're using metric uh, units. Uh, but for our purpose, we're going to use the ones like that start from batting all the way down. Okay, now there's multiple, multiple line types uh, and you will see there's even like dash, you will see like some repetitions. So we're going to use dashed, uh, but we're, but there's three variations of it. So there's dashed and then there's dash two and then dash X two. So what's the differences between the three? Uh, so this one dash two is actually half the size of this one that is called dashed. So the repetition of the lines is like more frequent. And then dashed X2 is actually double the size. So as you can see here, like they kind of show us how they look like, uh, like a quick preview essentially. Uh, and I think maybe let's load all of them. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to hit the control button to be able to add more to my selections. Uh, I'm holding, I'm sorry, I'm holding the command button. Uh, and when I'm holding it, I'm able to select multiple objects. And then I'm going to choose add. And then you will see them now in this list. And then from here, I'm just going to click OK. So I just loaded them, but I didn't change what is the current line weight that we're using. Uh, so not the line weight, the line type that we're using. Uh, so for example, from here, if I switch it now to dashed, now whatever I'm going to draw is going to be using that line type. So I'm going to draw a line and let's see if this is going to work. And here we go. You can see it comes out really, really small compared to the drawing, but let's select it and let's try to do, for example, uh, the dash two, it's going to come out even smaller versus uh, versus the previous one. And then the third one, dash X2, is going to be double the size. And maybe we will go with this one. So this was the dash line type. There is another line type that I also want to go over. Uh, and I'm going to just go to the manage window. And then from here, I'm going to load. The one I want to load is actually the one called hidden. And that's usually the one that I personally use, but dashed and hidden are kind of similar. It's just hatch has, uh, or it's just hidden has actually a, diff a little different size. So I just loaded like all the different sizes and I'm going to click OK. And I'm thinking like, since we're going over this, I know a lot of people struggle with this one. So I'm just going to do uh, a few of them and then we'll, we'll like, I'll just cover a couple aspects about it. So this one will assign it, uh, this one will be dashed, the regular dashed, and then here we will have dashed uh, two, and then here we will have dashed x2, uh, and I think that's the one we already had, and then here I'm going to switch to the ones called hidden, and then, and then hidden two, and then hidden x2. Okay, and now I'm going to zoom on them, and you can see like, uh, the ones on the right are the dash, the ones to the left are hidden. So you can see they're identical um, in terms of like how the lines look like, but the, in terms of the size, like hidden is a little even smaller than dashed. Uh, so, so that's the thing about dashed and hidden. Now you might be wondering like, what if I'm not happy with how any of these are actually looking, uh, which is my case. Like I do want these, I like these repetitions. Uh, but I do want to make them like, for example, this one, I want it to be like even like the lines, I want the segments to be even bigger. So how would you change that? So 
from the properties on the right side, when I have the line selected, you will see here something called line type scale. So I'm just gonna expand the properties window a little bit so you see this. So right here, you see the scale that says one. So if I change the value to two, that will double the size literally. And then here to three, and you get the idea, you can make it bigger or smaller. And then the same for this one, I can make this 10 times bigger and it will look this way. Another thing you might be thinking like, well, what if I'm not happy with any of these? Like, what if I want to change all of their scales together and I don't want to go through the properties each time? So there is a way to like globally change the scale factor for all the line types in general within your drawing. And to do that, we're actually going to go to the, uh, the line type manager, uh, which is different from the window we were using to load. It's actually a little more expanded. And we will find it under format and then here you will go to line type and then we will get this window it's similar you can load also and do everything from here like to add all like the line types that you want but you also get on the bottom you will see here it says global scale factor so if you change this value this will change all of them across your drawing like on top of like the line type scale for that particular object that you have so I'm going to switch this to two, for example, and it should basically double the size of all of them. Okay. So global scale factor will change it for your entire drawing. Uh, and that's another way to change the line type scale. There's one last thing I want to cover about the line types. And is that first, I'm just going to go back to the line type manager. I'm going to type line type, and I'm just going to leave this at one. Uh, my recommendation for you, like the proper way to work with line types, is don't change like their scale factors and like don't change the global scale factor and don't like maybe work just with the specific ones that you need. Uh, and this one here, I'm just gonna put the back, all of them back to one. Uh, the thing is when you print, when you wanna print this later on, uh, you want, there's actually a setting within the drawing that will show you how the slide type will look on a certain paper scale. Because depending on the scale you're gonna use, to print your floor plan or your drawing or your project, these are gonna look differently. So the right way to really do it is to do it based on the scale that you're gonna work with. Now this floor plan, I know I'm gonna place it on a quarter inch scale later on when I put it on a sheet and I will show you anyway how to do it. We're gonna go over all of that, but since we're covering line type, I need to tell you about this. So in order to tell AutoCAD to show me how these slide types are going to look like when I specify the scale later on from the model space here. All you need to do is actually on the bottom right uh, in the status bar, you see this uh, icon right here. Uh, this is actually a scale um, and it's called annotation scale. So this one by default is set at one to one. But if I want to put my drawing at a quarter inch scale later on, which again is the plan, I'm going to switch to that. So now I have the annotation scale at quarter inch. And then from here, like to see how they're gonna look like, I'm just gonna do something called regenerate and the shortcut for it is RE. And it will show me how these lines would look like on a quarter inch scale. So now you see based on the annotation scale and later on the drawing scale that we're gonna assign, these guys look completely different versus what we were working with earlier. They are much bigger. And therefore you wanna use something that will look smaller probably. Uh, like when you print it. But anyway, I believe you got the idea, the gist of it. And ultimately, let's get back to doors. Uh, if you have questions, you can always ask in the comments. Uh, but basically, the one I'm going to go for, uh, I'm going to go with for the door swings is basically I'm going to select these guys. And the one that I like to use is actually the, uh, the hidden two. So it's going to look like this. And this is how exactly it's going to look like on a quarter inch scale. So I just covered the line type. I showed you how to load different ones. I showed you like the dash, the hidden. I'm sure you saw there's way other options, uh, which I don't think we're gonna use the rest of them. But anyway, now you know how to control the scale from the properties and globally, and also how it correlate to the annotation scale and drawing scale later on. So that's about line type. Uh, the next concept I'm gonna show you is actually uh, grouping objects.